celebrating his victory is first-time candidate and newly elected MP Usman Sangare. As member of the opposition, Sangare says time has come to finally confront the failures of Mali's ruling party. Politics is not going well in Mali. MPs don't do what they are supposed to do. Our elected officials have failed to represent us. This will now change. Up until now, President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita's party rally for Mali was unchallenged, in control of the parliament for the past seven years, after the president cancelled elections twice on the grounds of insecurity. Despite more attacks from armed groups and the coronavirus spreading, the elections went ahead in April. Second round went ahead as normal for most of Mali, despite disruption from terrorist groups in certain areas. The president's party won most of the seats, but failed to achieve an outright majority. Among the winners is Mohamed Uld Matali, under UN sanctions for his involvement in organized crime and association with armed groups. Matali won as a ruling party member in Gao. Another winner, opposition leader Sumaila Sisse, he won in Mali's central region despite being held in captivity by armed groups who kidnapped him during his campaign. While no one has claimed responsibility, his family suspects militia groups close to the government for his abduction. The government blames an Al-Qaeda affiliate. That group and the Islamic State in the Greater Sahara called for a boycott of the vote, attacking polling stations, military outposts and threatening the population. Filmed on mobile phone, an armed group using stolen military vehicles seen patrolling a village in Mali's central region, where the Malian army is retreating. Fearing attacks and the coronavirus, few Malians came out to vote, with a record low turnout of 23 percent. Newspaper vendor Maiga Mohammedin believes the real winners of this election are armed groups. We are being held hostage. Mali is in the hands of armed groups. They have surrounded us. They have destroyed villages. They are killing population and forcing people from their homes. They have destroyed people's food reserves. I fear them more than anything else, including the novel coronavirus. Four million Malians are in urgent need of humanitarian assistance, many of them displaced. It's become Sangare's new job to not only represent them, but to hold a government to account that has so far failed to bring peace to Mali. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.